Yeah. I'm just a photographer. Is it cool? Oh, uh, no. Oh, okay. I thought it was a bike shop or something. Yeah, it's a bike shop. It's not cool? Okay, no worries. No, do you want me to delete them? I mean, I don't want to be uh Yeah, is the owner here? Okay, let me delete these. I don't want to be uh It's Wes. Welcome to this video. I'm out for the first time with the Fuji XE4 shooting street photography. I stopped on the way home from work and this was my second day with the camera and I was determined to get some pictures and get a feel for how it worked. So I pulled off the freeway, the five freeway in Santa Ana, and I saw how the sun was hitting the buildings. I just chose the neighborhood. Actually, there's a story why I chose this neighborhood. And it's because I was going down 17th street and I saw behind a bike shop, a pile of bikes. And I thought that would be a cool subject to photograph. So I pulled over, got out of the car and was walking towards the bike shop. Every shot in this video was shot with classic Chrome film simulation. I set the camera to auto, so the top dial I set to the A, and I was determined just to let the camera do the work and kind of just enjoy composing pictures and not worrying too much about the camera settings. I just want to see the image quality and get a feel for how the camera responded in my hands. And so I made my way up. Actually, I saw this orange van when I came down the street to park, but I was so close it wasn't a good vantage point but i did get it later so stay tuned for that now on my right there were some interesting buildings i love the architecture um, the kind of gabled roofs and so i took a couple of photos here paused um, there's an lgbtq sign over the garage i thought that was kind of just like too obvious a shot but there was a cool uh, safe zone sign in the upstairs window i thought that was interesting how it was up off the street you had to kind of crane your neck to see it but hey there's a safe zone up there uh, palm tree against the sky, of course, is a beautiful shot. I love the random telephone wire in the background. And here is where I turned and I headed toward the bike shop. And so there looked like there's a hundred or more bikes stacked behind the shop. And it was really interesting. You can't tell from here, but you can actually see it from the intersection that's just in front of the stores here. So I made my way over. I saw there was a young, uh, seemed like a young woman sitting against the wall. Uh, I'm not sure what she was doing, uh, but I made my way over to these bikes and I was determined to get some cool shots, close-ups of the cranks and um, just them all jumbled over. It would kind of be cool to bring artificial light into this setting and do some sort of posed photo, but um, I was really determined to get these shots. However, that is not what happened. I was uh, approached or I heard a voice behind me and I turned around and i just had a conversation with two guys and they were they were kind of like what are you doing and i just said hey, i am taking photos and they, they said uh, the the owner is not here and he probably wouldn't want you to do that um, but they did offer just they come back and talk to the owner and i offered to delete the photos because i just didn't want any trouble or any bad feelings you know i'm out there uh, i'm trying to respect the community and leave it in better shape than when i got there uh, essentially so I made my way out of that uh, parking lot behind and I moved to this street. Now, Caddy Corner, diagonal to my right across the street, this was one of the buildings that was interesting to me as I made my way down 17th, just how the sun hit the angles of the building. And so um, the main character here in this photo walk is the sun. But I found that the, the XE4 was really responsive. The, the focus was sharp and responsive um, like this shot uh, i came up on this payphone who has uh, payphones anymore and so I, I just rattled off three or four shots different angles and i found that the focal point went there on the receiver easily i did a horizontal one then i did one more vertically and it was easy to line up move the focal point so that it was on the receiver anyway i moved the camera so just that responsiveness of the camera to my hand that was a uh, pretty much a joy to work with i didn't have any gripes in terms of um, the camera focus mechanism um, like here i turn around and I, there's an interesting sign above the street and i wanted to get the focal point on on the sign it was pretty easy i tilted the screen down you can't see it because the gopros are filming forward but i tilted the screen down and i was able to nail that focus um, and so everything was good now ergonomically i'm not totally settled on 
whether I'd like the XE4 without maybe adding a grip. Uh, it is small for my hand, so I think adding a grip on the right side, just a little extra bump to provide some stability, uh, especially if I put anything longer than the 27 mil uh, pancake lens, that'll be helpful to have a little extra grip. But at this time of day, uh, I was just relaxing and enjoying. Here are some kind of interesting signs. I'm trying to embrace that, you know, shoot the ordinary, shoot what's around you. So this was a, a cool composition. I just like the juxtaposition of the two different parking signs and the parking lot there. So um, other things that I noticed about the XE4 is uh, from my first unboxing video, which I'll put a link if you want to watch that, um, I made a couple of uh, discoveries between now and then. I had accidentally uh, turned on one of the advanced modes. Um, and so in the advanced mode, I had like a toy camera filter. And in that filter, you can't shoot raw. So I actually reached out to Fuji and asked them why I didn't have raw on my menu. So they pointed out, hey, are you in one of the advanced filter modes? Uh, so I found that, turned it off. And, but another discovery, um, I found out that when you import a RAW file into Lightroom, Lightroom, Adobe Lightroom is not yet updated to work with the uh, RAW files out of the XE4. So I actually set everything to shoot all JPEGs on this photo walk, which was new for me. I'm used to, uh, I kind of shot RAW and JPEG for a while on the X100B, and then I moved into just shooting RAW because I was playing to process everything. And really with this camera, I'm trying to simplify my workflow about just getting out there and shooting. So everything here is classic Chrome simulation, like I said at the beginning of the video. And everything is a JPEG, ready to go straight out of the camera. All of these were shot. Now here I use the exposure compensation dial to brighten up the image a little. And I really, really thought that that was a good use. Uh, I like using this, uh, just thinking about composition. Like this building, I'm fascinated by it every time I come by with the lime green stripes across the windows. But uh, it didn't really pop. Like on the GoPro, you can see the exposure is a little bit brighter. It has a little more HDR look. Um, it was a little too dark. Maybe I should have brightened it up, but I didn't want to lose the color out of the sky. So that's one of the you know trade-offs of shooting JPEG is I could have finessed that more in a RAW file. But um, so I crossed the street and I'm heading back down 17th. I'm really on the home stretch back and I found these tiny little pink flowers in the hedge. I thought, you know, that's a great subject. So I popped off a couple of those and sure enough, the focal point is sharp and you get this nice uh, bokeh in the background as the hedge fades away into the, into the scenery behind. And I really thought that was good. Now, the, the blossoms are pretty small and one significant difference I did notice is that the X1 or V, you're able to get a lot closer. Now, so you gotta realize you're shooting a 40 mil versus uh, uh, something like a 35 mil equivalent but, uh, between this f2.8 uh, 27 uh, mil lens pancake lens that I got on the XE4 um, and the X100D's 23 mil. Now here the I thought it was cool to capture my shadow on the wall as I was looking down the street and I did that a couple of different ways focusing on the wall. Now here I noticed there's a, a runner coming behind me. So I put my camera vertical and tried to uh, get a shot of him. Focus was okay. I think the first one it shot and got the street behind him. And the second one was okay. Um, focus was on him, but it, he was too far. Now notice he disappears around the corner and I'm approaching the stoplight. Little do I know he's actually waiting there. So this part of him just being a street photographer. My camera's at my side. I see him take off. I raise the camera and boom, get a shot. Now he's pretty far away, so it doesn't come out that great. Uh, but here are the rest of the shots from that photo walk. And I, I just love the, the colors. Here's the van I talked about earlier. I love the colors. It looks classic. It, I had loved the Fuji look. And this apartment building really held my eye, especially in the afternoon sunlight. And so I came and grabbed probably my favorite shots of the day were all here on this building with the, this bold color. Good outing first time. Thanks for joining me. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. And I will see you in the next video. GoPro stop recording. Oh, hey, I forgot to say. You're a beautiful person and you're a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that.
And that's it. Uh, on the way out, I stuck the camera out the sunroof as I drove by the Santa Ana water tower and got these shots. And there's one more. That's my favorite right there. Great shot. Great camera.